Greetings! There is nothing wrong with this picture right here, and I'm Ander, or FBI Open Up on Azure Lane, and I'm back with this submarine equipment guide which will wrap up this series of videos. I won't be wasting any of your time, so let's get started right away. Now the most common question about submarines is where do I find submarine torpedoes? And since this is where 99% of a submarine's damage comes from, with the other 1% being from their auxiliary gun, it is very important to know all the ways of obtaining this gear. Now currently there are a handful of different ways to get the submarine equipment. The easiest being the daily and then going to the supply line disruption thing. You can do this twice a week. I have a video covering what this stage will look like and what the rewards are. But this is definitely the easiest way of obtaining some very good yellow and purple submarine torpedoes. You will get the blueprints for them. And then you will get, once you get the blueprints, you can go to your depot, and then you should go to craft, and then you should be able to build some submarine torpedoes, if I can find them. So something like this, you can make them with the blueprints that you have collected. Now this, the next easy way is during an event, such as B3 or D3 of the previous event, which was micro layer medley. They would have a rare drop on these stages that could let you get some submarine torpedoes. And quickly, no chapter stages drop submarine gears, so you will not be able to get any submarine gears from these chapter stages, like 1, 2, 3, 4, for any of these, all the way up to chapter 13. There is no stage that drops a submarine gear. Now if you do want to go and get some extra submarine gears from this tab, you will have to click this SOS signal on this bottom right hand corner right here, the spinning one. And once you click search signal, you will be getting one of these notifications saying that there is a chapter thing. You can go to it and then you will find this little red or yellowish button. You can click it and then there will be an SOS mission. In this SOS mission, you will have to go and defeat a submarine boss by using your submarine gears on a ship. So if you don't have any submarine gears, you will not be able to kill the boss. Through this, you can go and get a couple of submarine gears, but most of the time it is not really worth doing since you will not get some good gears. Now, the better way of getting these blue and gray gears, instead of doing these SOS missions, there's nothing wrong here once again, just saying, is going to the build, clicking exchange, then clicking items, and then you will find the submarine starter supplies in the metal shop right here. Now, if you buy it for 20 metals, you can exchange it. And then you can go back to your depot. And then click items. And then you will find the submarine box right here. You can open it. And then you can get yourself some blue and gray submarine gears. This is the best way of getting your starter equipment for a submarine. It's better than nothing, so I definitely recommend you buy a couple of them. Now, just as another note, you know that there are always these gold boxes right here, the purple boxes as well. You cannot get submarine equipment from these equipment boxes. So nothing from these purple boxes and nothing from these gold boxes will be a submarine gear. The only box that will drop them is the green submarine box that I just mentioned that you can purchase from the metal shop. Now moving on to the actual submarine item equipment guide. Let's find submarines SS. So moving on, we will finally go to the torpedo section. And the best will always follow the rarity. So a yellow torpedo will always be better than a purple torpedo. The purple torpedoes will always be better than a blue torpedo. And the blue torpedoes will always be better than the gray torpedoes. Now, using the highest rarity gear is the best way to go and equip your submarine. So definitely make sure that you can just put on any of these high rarity gears and your submarine will function good. Now for the specific things, the best golden torpedo is the G7E Acoustic Guided Torpedo, since it is the gold in rarity. And also it has this acoustic guidance ammo, which basically means it has the same tracking capabilities as a German magnetic torpedo. It's got a little less damage than the highest damaging torpedoes such as this one. Well, actually let's go and do a comparison right here. 
So, oh, whoops. So we could go here. This one, dot, this magnet torpedo kind of thing does have a lower damage than the other two golden torpedoes, but it has the fastest reload out of all of them, and it does have that acoustic guidance. So that means that more of your torpedoes will hit the target, which will usually result in a higher damage from the submarine. This is overall your best thing that you can get from a submarine, and the next best, moving on, will be the Type 95 submarine torpedo, as you can see right here. This is your average golden torpedo performance. It's got the middle of the road damage, which is higher than the acoustic guided one, but lower than the Mark 16 one. It has the middle of the road reload, as you can see, 13 seconds over here, compared to the longest one, which is 24. And then right here is 13 seconds. So you can't really go wrong with the Type 95 submarine torpedo. It's kind of like the quintuple 533mm torpedo for the other ships. It's got that standard performance that will not let you down. Now the third and last golden torpedo is the Mark 16 submarine torpedo, where as you can see it shoots a wave of three torpedoes instead of the other two, which only shoot two torpedoes in a wave. Now to go and balance this out, the fire rate is almost double of the other two, which is a major downside because Consistency is key, and sometimes these battles will not last so long where you will be able to fire a second wave, or maybe your submarine may not have enough oxygen to shoot out that torpedo. So next up, if you do not have any gold gears, is definitely going to the purple version of the G7E acoustic guided torpedo. But the thing is, these purples follow the exact same order as their golden counterparts. This is literally just the purple version of the yellow one. So all of these stats are just going to be a downgrade. If you do get the higher rarity versions, then definitely make sure that you are using them because they are literal direct upgrades of the other one. So first place would obviously go to the G7E Acoustic Guided Torpedo once again, due to its magnet torpedo kind of skill. Then next up would be the same exact thing, the Type 95 Submarine Torpedo, which would be the same as comparing the golden Type 95 submarine torpedo, which is in second, to the purple one. So as you can see, it's an exact upgrade if you have the yellow one. After that, the other submarine torpedoes roughly perform all the same as the other ones. Just note that this one right here, the submarine only 550 for some odd reason, just has worse damage and stats than compared to the regular purple Type 95 submarine torpedo. As you can see, this one has 157 times 2, 15 seconds, 70 for a reload. This one has a slightly lower reload, but a lot less damage. So basically, this is kind of one of the worst purple torpedoes. The other ones are very similar to each other, and you will basically just pick the highest rarity one, and that will be the best torpedo you can put on a submarine. Now moving on to the auxiliary gun slot. It is the same exact thing as a destroyer gun, kind of tier list, so it will follow the exact same order as well. So the best would obviously be the Russian twin 130mm or the golden French gun, the 138.6mm. Obviously you would not want to use them on a submarine because of their limited rarity. You would definitely want to use them on a more damaging, maybe like cruiser that can equip them, or a firepower focused destroyer. Now of course if you don't have that once again, you can always rely on the golden twin 127mm, or as another alternative you could have the purple bucket gun, which is going to have a lower, uh, no it's going to have a slightly higher damage than the golden 127mm right here, but it will have a significantly longer reload time. Now, for the rest of them, you can just put on any other purple gun. It doesn't really matter too much, since a submarine will barely ever use their main gun, since they will have to surface once they actually start shooting with their main gun. Most of the time, they're always going to be under the water and shooting their torpedoes out. Now, the last slot right here is the auxiliaries. The auxiliaries for a submarine, there are only a couple that are worth putting on. The number one would obviously go to the Type 93 Oxygen Torpedo, as it is the best booster of the torpedo stat for a submarine, 
and since a submarine only basically shoots out torpedoes for all of its damage, boosting it by another 100 is definitely the best route to have a on a submarine. Now the second slot, which is the ideal loadout for a submarine, as you can see from these three submarines that I have right now, they're all the same. It's a rainbow torpedo slash dildo, along with the core data improved snorkel. So this improved snorkel you can buy from core data for 800 core data, and this will allow you to have a lot more oxygen in your submarine, which will mean that they will be able to stay submerged under the water for a longer time. This is good because they will be able to shoot more of these torpedoes out as there is a reload time. So if there is more oxygen, they will be able to shoot more torpedoes, which is very good. Now the other less notable gears, if you don't have these two things, the Type 93 Pure Oxygen Torpedo as well as a Improved Snorkel, is the Autoloader. You can have an Autoloader on your submarine so that it will shoot a little bit faster. You can also have the purple compressed oxygen tank, except uh, let me just go on over to that real quick. The purple compressed, oh whoops, wrong tab, there we go, okay, let me find it real quick. The purple compressed oxygen cylinder is basically the worst purple version of the improved snorkel. So if you do have this lying around, it's better than nothing, make sure you can put that on a submarine as well. Now you may be wondering about the improved storage battery from Core Data, where if I can just go back to that right now, go on over to Munitions and then click Core Data, and scroll down, you can see the improved snorkel for 800 Core Data right here, and also the improved storage battery. So this improved storage battery is actually not worth buying because it increases the hunting range of a submarine by a plus one, but the thing is, its exact ability can be actually gotten from the super rare Meowficer. Oh shoot, I keep clicking this. Oh man. HQ, then you click Cat Lodge. And as you can see here, this blue haired submarine super rare cat, you click Details, oh no, you click Talent, it will actually increase the hunting range by plus one as well. So basically, this Meowficer is doing the exact same thing. And it's free and not costing 800 whole core data. So overall, the storage battery from core data is not worth buying anymore. Do not spend your core data on it. Now with those auxiliary gears covered, this marks the end to the submarine equipment guide and the Azure Lane equipment guide series on my channel. Now as always, if you found this information helpful, then consider dropping a like. Now to be reminded of any future uploads, subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any other questions. And don't forget to press the notification bell to go and be reminded of my future uploads. If you have any questions about the video or if you have any questions in general, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to reply. Since the equipment guide is done now, I'll now have the option to do some other video suggestions, and I'm open to new ideas. Wow, these are bad pulls. Okay. Now, with all that being said, that's all I have for this video, so have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Ooh. Okay. Well, bye.